Hi guys, what's up and welcome back. For today's video, I have a, another new series that I'm going to be starting on my channel. So, as you guys know, like literally on a weekly basis or even on a daily basis, new makeup is releasing constantly and it's like, how do we keep up with everything, you know? So I decided that I wanted to make a video discussing with you guys like the new makeup releases, kind of like my wish list, but these are products that either released or products that will be releasing in the next few days. So you guys have a little bit of an idea what I'm looking after, what I want to pick up for myself, and what is catching my attention. So I decided that I'm going to be doing this series once a week, just like I do my weekly makeup basket on Sundays. This video might be going up like on Thursdays or Fridays, depending on what my schedule is. So like this, we could see the products that are coming out in the following week or two, and then we can have a discussion in the comments below. You guys can let me know if you guys are gonna pick these products up or if they're products you're gonna skip on. But this is basically my wish list products that I do wanna get that you will probably be seeing reviews on and you will be seeing in my weekly makeup basket as well. So let's get started. Hopefully this little smelly face is not a distraction, but this is a little Pico. So the first thing that's on my wish list is this Morphe's 3502 palette. So the thing is with this specific palette, I never picked up the 350 like the original one because I don't know, it just never attracted me. But for this specific one, it just catches my attention like no other. The reason being is because I love those like nice, warm, reddish, orangey shades and they're so saturated with color. I was gonna skip on this one, but then I'm like, no. With Morphe products, usually it's kind of a hit and miss as I'm sure you guys know with many other brands as well. And I know there's a lot of controversy around them, but I don't know, I don't wanna get into that. But I do own one or two other larger palettes from Morphe. I do use them pretty consistently, but not as consistent as I, was, as I would want to. But with this specific palette, I know it's probably gonna be my go-to full palette and I could lend it to my sister. I'm sure she'll love to use it. Um, I love the fact that there are nice um, matte shades in here and there are really nice metallic -y shades as well so you can create a look just using this of course and I think it's just perfect for any occasion. You can go super light, super deep and it just is speaking to me on levels that I never thought a Morphe palette would speak to me on. Like usually Morphe palettes are like okay fine like whatever but with this one I'm like <sighs> I need it in my life. The next exciting product that I'm going to be discussing is this new Urban Decay Heavy Metal Holiday Palette. This thing is beautiful. Like this palette made me sweat from places I never knew I could sweat. It's a very interesting palette, I will say, because on one side there are 10 neutral different eyeshadows included and on, then on the other side there are 10 like colorful eyeshadows included and then in the middle you get a mirror. I've never seen packaging like this, but I do appreciate that Urban Decay is trying to step out of the regular zone of eyeshadow palettes, meaning like they're trying something different. This is not something that I don't think anyone has ever seen and I guess we'll see how it works out. Either it'll be good or either it'll be like, what the hell is this, you know? You guys know that I love to play around with color and I love the fact that you get your nice neutrals here and you get your nice range of colors. These look like you can see the quality from the picture. Like they look like they're like wet and metallic and just like deliciously soft that I would want to bite. Do you know what I'm saying? So I cannot pass up on this one. I know that I'm going to have to definitely incorporate other palettes to create a look using this. With some palettes, I totally don't mind doing that. Like one of my favorite go-to colorful palettes is the Tarte Believe in Yourself eyeshadow palette. And with that one, I usually incorporate other palettes to create a beautiful look. And this one, I feel like is kind of on the same road. Like you'll definitely have to include something else, but I'm totally okay with that because you can see the quality and it's like, I'm sweating. The next thing that I cannot wait for, oh my god, this whole collection, I think I need to save up $6,000 just for this whole thing. So this is the new MAC holiday collection. It's called the MAC Snowball Collection. Usually during the holidays, I feel like MAC absolutely kills it with their holiday collections because they go all out with the packaging. The products are absolutely beautiful and it's just something that just like where dreams pretty much come true. So I really want to get the highlighters. There's one that's a little bit more on the peachier side and then one that's a little bit more gold, which I know will not suit my skin tone, but I will pick it up anyway and make it work. You get a nice range of different eyeshadows that they're releasing. Then they're going to be releasing a whole bunch of lipsticks ranging from like red to nude to pinky shades. And then they're releasing this really huge vault of different mini sized lipsticks, which I think is such a genius idea because mini lipsticks are like the go-to thing. I feel like because who really finishes lipsticks without trying? you know so that's definitely very eye-catching to me then they're going to be releasing two different eyeshadow palettes one that's a little bit more cool toned and one that's a little bit more warmer toned um usually with mac shadows they're kind of a miss but let's hope that this year is not because the packaging is just something that i really need in my life then of course they're going to be releasing those iconic little sets with like their makeup brushes and then a little cute bag and then little lipsticks and a little cute bag and a whole bunch of different stuff usually with mac collections i like to go in store and check it out because firstly i want to get it asap because it's so freaking beautiful and it's usually around my birthday time so 
I kind of feel like I'm treating myself out for my birthday, which really is kind of like my ass because I would get it anyway if it's not my birthday, you know what I'm saying? So this is something that is super beautiful, something that I'm so into. I love like the gold colors and then the silver colors as well. I think this would be great gifts to give to people too. And it's just something I think we all need in our lives. We just need it. Thanks, Mac. So I just showed my sister the Mac collection and she's like, what's so special about this? She's like, it all looks the same to me. <laughs> And then the final thing that's gonna be releasing that I feel like every single soul will be picking up is this new Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. This is probably the definition of fire. Every single shade in here looks really nice and warm. You get your nice, again, range of mattes, nice range of metallics. There is one shade in there is that's like a matte, but it has like glitter in there, so I don't know how well that will perform. I don't like when brands really do that, but overall, I think this palette is beautiful. The packaging is like this fiery color, and. I just know every single person will own this because I mean for good reason, it's just so pretty. I definitely do love the quality of the Tartlet eyeshadows. I have a Tartlet in Bloom and then I have the original Tartlet palette. I love the Tartlet in Bloom a little bit more than the original. It was in my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes and that's the palette that I go to when I don't know what to really wear, when I want something beautiful and nice, when I know I need to go somewhere and look put together but I also want to look glammed up at the same time but not too overdone, do you know what I'm saying? The shadows blend out super beautiful, very creamy, just really nice, something that could be worn on a daily basis and something that could be worn to special events to special occasions as well so this is something that's definitely right up my alley and I'm sure it's definitely right up your alley as well because I mean why not it's perfect so that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be discussing in this new makeup releases dash my wish list video I'm gonna be doing this every week like I've said so I'm really excited for this definitely let me know down below if any of these products has caught your attention or if you're gonna pick it up for yourself I would love to know even if you're gonna skip on it you can let me know as well and I think that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye